What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another player prop video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section and enter your name into the $50 giveaway I do every single week on this channel. Um, I'm contemplating whether I want to do $100 a day or not. I mean, paying out $500 last week it was a lot. You know what I mean? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, but I'll probably just do $50 a video this week, if that's okay. Uh, I will do $50 a video, though, okay? I won't just do $50 for the entire week for one person, all right? I'll choose 50. Uh, I'll choose as many videos as I do this week. I will choose, I will give $50 to one person from each video that I do, okay? Anyway, thank y'all for joining me as always, man. PropsMadeEasy.com, only $20 a month. If you haven't joined up for the best player prop tools in the industry, then you're just tripping at this point. It is way too great. Uh, hit rate's way too fire. Taking people to a whole nother level, making an average person, professional level, better with literally the moment they sign up and being able to have these the, the data that they have from Props Made Easy. So if you haven't joined Props Made Easy yet, it's only $20 a month, man. We're headed into week three. What are you doing if you're not a Props Made Easy member? It's crazy. All right. Also, join the WAP community page where we have the community chat. We post uh, our team at Props Made Easy. We'll post slips throughout the day. Not a ton. We're not cappers or nothing like that, but we'll, we'll post some optimal slips throughout the day, maybe a couple optimal slips each day uh, for the community as well. The, ba the main benefit is having the chat, being able to talk to other members, learn the pro player prop tool even more if you are struggling and don't know how to utilize the tool very often, which is always people just overthinking. Like if you use the Props Made Easy tool, right and you're not just taking the top plays off the tool then you're just overthinking things and making life harder for yourself the best plays are immediately at the top of the tool for every single sport for every different sports book the best plays are already at the top i've had people hit me up before and be like hey cam like um i scrolled all the way down and i like this play down here what do you think what do you mean what do i think you you scrolled all the way down and you like a play at the bottom why would i promote that you know what i mean because the better data is at the top why are you skipping a guy who's a five sports book differential and going for a guy with a one it just makes no sense you're overthinking you're not letting the props made easy tool do what it's built to do make things incredibly simple people want to just do too much just sit back let the props made easy tool dominate for you that's all you got to do only twenty dollars a month baby lock in week Three of the NFL season is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so make sure you join in PropsMadeEasy.com for only twenty dollars a month. Join that Watt page for only ten. It's only thirty dollars a month compared to these other places being fifty to hundreds a month, which is crazy. Anyway, thank y'all for joining me in this video. We are going to start off with NFL Week Three, and we're going to talk about the early look options. Now, as you guys know, the Props Made Easy tool is absolutely fantastic at beating bumps. Okay, so it's very pivotal, pi pivotal. <laughs> it's pivotal in NFL that you get these early plays in early. Okay, because as the week goes on, as you guys know, as the week goes on, lines get tighter. Same thing with college football. We have college football dropped as well, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But college football, same thing. You have these big differentials early in the week. As you get closer to the lock, they're much tighter. Okay, props made easy is ahead of every single bump. OK, I can almost guarantee you that Jared Goff's line of 276.5 will be lower than this come lock on the 22nd. It's 276. We have a minus 3.8 sportsbook differential. I guarantee you this line is less than 276. Wouldn't be surprised to see it right around where this sportsbook line shows right here, about 273. All right. But anyway. Let's get straight into the plays, man. And that's what Props Made Easy does best. Early in the week, you go in, you swipe out these uh, amazing plays. By the end of the week, none of those plays you originally got are there anymore. They're not great value anymore because they've all been bumped. You got them all at amazing value, and that's the key. Now, let's get straight into week three. Jared Goff at the top of the list, under 276.5 passing yards at minus 3.8 sportsbook differential. Now, Props Made Easy takes like close to 100 sports books into count, okay? So however many sports books already have week three passing yards for Jared Goff, we have them, and we average them together into one sports book line to give you the best, most accurate representation in the entire industry. 
We don't just choose three sports books and use them. No, we take every single option and we average them together. When you do that for Jared Goff, his sports book line for his passing yards is at 272.7. His player projection for week three is set at 268.5. That's a minus 8 projection differential. So not only do you have the minus 3.8 sportsbook differential, but you have the minus 8 projection differential on Jared Goff's under 276.5. All right? Bo Nix, over 182.5 passing yards at 3.6 sportsbook differential on the over. Other sportsbooks have him at 186.1. We have him player projected at 190, a 7.5 projection differential. Will Levis, under 203.5 passing yards at a minus 3.5 sportsbook differential. Other sportsbooks have this average at 200. His player projection is 202.3, a minus 1.2. So not only do you have the minus 3.5 sportsbook differential, but you have the projection differential minus 1.2 as well. So the under on Will Levis at 203.5. Kyler Murray under 238.5 passing yards at a minus 3 sportsbook differential. Sportsbook line at 235.5, player projection of 233, a minus 5.2. Aaron Jones. Over 50.5 rushing yards at a 2.59 sportsbook differential. Sportsbook line at 53.09. Player projection at 53.4. Almost identical on these two. A 2.9 projection differential. So great spot for Aaron Jones over 50.5. Deshaun Watson over 204.5 passing yards at a 2.3 sportsbook differential. 206.8 on other sportsbooks. Player projection of 212.1. A 7.6 projection differential. So the over on Watson's 204.5. Baker Mayfield, under 252.5 at a minus 2.2 sportsbook differential. 250.3 is his average sportsbook differential, right, uh, sportsbook line right now. Player projections, 249.6, almost identical to that, a minus 2.9 projection differential. Malik Neighbors, under 68.5 receiving yards at a minus 2.2. Malik Neighbors is one of the very few plays that the tool did not get right last week. Neighbors had a huge game, and we liked the under that week as well. I'll go right back to the well and trust the process, trust the data, and go right under on Malik Neighbors again, under 68.5. Other sportsbooks have him at 66.3. Player projection is almost identical. Minus 1.9 projection differential. Josh Allen, we like the over at 239.5 at a 2.12 sportsbook differential. Sportsbook lines have this on average at 241. Player projections at 243, a 4.3 projection differential. So you see what we're doing here, right? We're looking for players with the biggest sportsbook differential where majority of the sportsbooks have an average less than where that line is or more than where that line is on prize picks. Um, but we also want our projection to be on the same side as well. Now, you don't have to worry, oh, is the projection differential on the same side? Because if the play is showing here, you automatically know it is a plus EV plus projection play. One thing that Props Made Easy created in this industry is our tools that offer player projection, NFL, NBA, MLB, and NHL, the top four, okay? Those four sports, we show you players. The only players that show on our tool are players that are EV, have good sportsbook differentials, solid EV on one side or the other, and projection data agrees, okay? So we're checking as many boxes as we can for all of these plays that we promote here at Pros Made Easy, all right? Now, we went through about, what, 10-plus players. Um, these big sportsbook differential plays, great options to get in early. Let's take a look at all sportsbooks and see if there's any huge spots here. Now, first thing that you notice here is Bo Nix, Will Levis, and Ramon J. Stevenson uh, on sleeper. You have a little sleeper three-man right here. Bo Nix, under 192.5 line on sleeper at a minus 6.4. Will Levis over 194.5 at a 5.5. Ramondre Stevenson under 71.5 at a minus 4.97. All right, so you've got some solid value there. Um, it's rare that you have prize picks at some of the top, but some of these other sports books, you literally only have sleeper and prize picks that really have dropped a ton. I mean, Hot Streak has dropped a few, but nothing too crazy yet. As the week goes on, you'll have these other sports books start including their lines, and then you'll be able to see some even bigger discrepancies. So it's important that as the week goes on, you continue looking at props made easy and take the absolute best plays on whatever sports book they're on. All right, let's go back to prize picks real quick and let's look at no line difference. Let's look at the plays. Clicking no line difference will show you the plays that have no 
line difference. It's exactly what it says. Okay, these are where all the sports books and the prize picks line or sports book line is on the same side. Now, top play you have here is Greg Zerline for Thursday night football's game between the Jets and New England. Over 6.5 kicking points is at a 53.16% chance to hit. Anything 53% green chance to hit, we love. Minus 139 PME consensus odds. So when you look at all the sports books, majority of them are on the same kicking points line. So we take the average, and the average is on the over at minus 139 consensus odds. All right? So among the entire industry still, you have majority on the over Greg Zerline's kicking points of 6.5. All right? 53.16%. So good spot there. Let's go on to college football. We do have some early lines on college football. We've got one big differential with Luke Altmeyer here at the top. Let's go ahead and break it down. College football on prize picks. Luke Altmeyer. Under 200.5 passing yards is at a minus 6.21 sportsbook differential. Other sportsbooks are at 194 on his line. So grab that under on Luke Altmeyer, under 200.5 passing yards. Kyle McCord, under 265.5 passing yards at a minus 2.75. Pat Bryant, under 52.5 receiving yards at a minus 2.54. Jimmy Horn Jr., under 56.5 at a minus 2.25. Jamal Banks, under 46.5 receiving yards at a minus 1.65. Jameer Johnson, over 47.5 rushing plus receiving at a 1.5. Ashton Daniels, under 220.5 at a minus 1.46 on his passing yards. So a lot of solid options here. Let's go up and let's click on all sports books. You will immediately see that over on Hot Streak, you've got some big spots here for Nico over 240.5 passing yards at an 8.56 sportsbook differential. Sportsbook line on average is at 249 on Nico. So grab that over 240.5 passing yards for Nico. Alex Orgy. I'm not, I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Orgy. <laughs> Alex over 110.5 passing yards at an 8.18 sportsbook differential. Other sportsbook lines are at 118.6 on Alex. All right, and then you have Kalel Mullings under 76.5 rushing yards at a minus 6.94. Other sports were at 69.56, and there you go. Those are the absolute best values in the entire college football industry on any sports book over on Hot Streak. Grab that value. Now, let's see. Any no-line difference options that we have here? Hold on. Let me see. No no-line difference plays that are popping. They're all yellow chances to hit. All right. With that being said, let's move on. MLB, Bobby Miller's at the top of the list. Under 5.5K is at 53.3% chance to hit. Minus 140 consensus odds on the under 5.5Ks. Highest odds gets as high as minus 153. Player projections 5.4, a minus 0.1. So again, you have all of the consensus odds pointing towards the under at a minus 140 consensus odds average. And the highest odds getting as high as minus 153 on pinnacle on the under. And player projections also under as well, man. You've just got a lot of data points pointing towards the under there. Another play that's considerable. He's not the green probability that we normally like to see, but Brandon Williamson under 4.5 Ks, minus 133.8 PME consensus odds on the under. What's interesting though is his minus 153 line on the under over on Pinnacle and a projection of 4.4. Again, both of these guys are only minus 0.1 projection differentials under, but nonetheless. Player projection data is also on the under. Let's look at all sports books. Looking at all sports books, you've got Frankie Montas as the best overall play on the day. Over 17.5 outs at 55.2% chance to hit over on hot streak. Minus 151 PME consensus odds. Minus 175 is as high as it gets over on, what is that, BetMGM? Player projection of 17.6. Uh, Frankie Montas. Nick Pavetta on better. Under 4.5 hits allowed is 54.76. You have him on Dabble. You have him on DraftKings. So under his 4.5 hits allowed on all of these sites is good. <coughs> Bailey falters over 3.5 Ks on all these plays are good. So some really good options on MLB today. MLB first inning, nothing too crazy. Royals and Tigers under 0.5 first inning runs allowed at minus 131.8. Other than that, nothing too crazy there. MLB Fantasy. MLB Fantasy has been popping in closer to lock, okay? We're, we're getting more data closer as we get closer to the game's beginning. So check MLB Fantasy during that time. For WNBA, we have Alicia Gray 
over 18.5 points plus assists, a 52.45% chance to hit. It's not the green we're looking for, but nonetheless, it is the top option we have on prize picks right now at minus 135 consensus odds. Same thing for Alicia Gray's over 20.5 points and rebounds. Uh, but Nij Bet Nija, I'm not sure how to say her name, under 14.5 points plus rebounds um, at yeah, 52.45% chance to hit. Brittany Griner over 26.5 points plus rebounds is a good option. Let's look at all sports books. When you do that, you have the parlay play choice of Chelsea Gray under 1.5 made threes at 61.6. Uh, Chelsea Gray's under 1.5 made threes there on sleeper as well. I like to just look at the fantasy books. Brittany Sykes under 3.5 assists on parlay play at 59.9. So you've got some options there. As the day goes on, though, you'll get some even more options pop in. All right, nothing for MMA, tennis. Over on soccer, you have Pau Torres, under 62.5 passing attempts at a minus three. Great spot on the under on Pau, 62.5 passing attempts at a minus three. Great spot. Joey, over 53.5 passing attempts at a one. Okay, that's about all I would do there. Nothing for Call of Duty, League of Legends. Looking over at CS2, we have CTOM, over 16 first two map headshots at a two sportsbook differential on the over there. Seven Nation, over 14 first two map headshots at a 1.5. Jerry, under 14.5 first two map headshots at a minus 1.5. Salo Mux, over 12 first two map headshots at a 1.5. OC, over 13 first map kills at a 1.5. I wouldn't go much lower than a 1.5 when it comes to the odds. Looking at all sports books, the best value you have is High Perry over 24.5 first two map kills at a three over on Underdog. This play right here, High Perry over 24.5 Dementor on parlay play is also great. High Perry played with Dementor over on Hot Streak as well. I'm not 100% sure if they're on the same team or not. I just know they're in the same match. But yeah, that's how you look at the overall value, man. So take make sure you're taking advantage of that. I take advantage of that all the time, man. I play on Hot Streak. I play on better. I play on prize picks. Prize picks out of a lot of the sports books really has some of the lower value on average that you will see. Um, they they try to keep their lines a little bit tighter than these other sites, probably because there's more users utilizing prize picks than uh, all these other places. So prize picks is really trying to keep them a lot lower, a lot tighter than some of these other places who have those bigger gaps and those bigger sports book differentials you could take advantage of. So. Going back over to NFL, see if anything new has changed. Nothing has really changed. Jared Goff still at the top of the list on his under passing yards of 276.5. As I've said, one of the most important things that you can do in this game is be a Props Made Easy member, number one. Be a member of the WAP page. Get involved in the chat with other Props Made Easy members. Learn how to be the best better that you could possibly be. Make the best decisions. Um, you know, go over slip ideas with the with the crew, all that good stuff. The PME team will post a couple slips a day as well, some optimal slips throughout the entire industry um, to just kind of give you some some stuff there. And the WAP's only ten dollars a month, y'all. All right. Thank y'all for joining me as always, man. Let's have a big week three. Happy Taco Tuesday, and let's get it. I'm out.